Hello, my storytime friends. Today we're going to read Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes, written by Kimberly and James Dean. If you have a copy, go ahead and get it so you can read along with me. Pete and Gus were as busy as could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at three. They were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. They had 10 when they were done. Oh no, hang on, some of the cupcakes were gone. They were sure there had been 10. Pete said, maybe we need to count again. They counted the cupcakes lined up straight. Now there were only eight. It looked like someone had taken two, but who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found a clue. Gus said, look what I have found, sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was Squirrel, she loves sprinkles. Squirrel said, it wasn't me, it couldn't be. I've been at the spelling bee. Uh-oh. More cupcakes are missing. Come and see. This was too weird. Two more cupcakes had disappeared. Now there were only six. Someone must be playing tricks. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found another clue. Pete said, I bet it was Alligator. He loves to eat. Alligator said, It wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Now there were only four. Someone had taken two more. But who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then, they found another clue. I bet it was Turtle, said Pete. I know Turtle loves sweets. Turtle said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been swimming in the sea. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. What on earth was going on? All the cupcakes were now gone. Pete and Gus did not know what to do. They started looking for another clue. They found Grumpy Toad with icing on his face. Pete and Gus have solved the case. I am so sorry, it was me. I could not stop with just one. I ate and ate till there were none. Everyone agreed. Grumpy Toad would have to miss the fun. He could not come after what he had done. Pete said, but wait, Grumpy Toad made a mistake. This is true. Let's give him a second chance. That's what friends do. Pete told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. He was so excited, he did a happy dance. The night of the party was so much fun. Grumpy Toad brought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. If you like this story, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, by putting your name into the comments below, we'll enter you into a draw to win a copy of this book. There will be a draw at the end of each month for each book, but to win, you need to be subscribed. Good luck and thanks for watching.